Hi folks, welcome back to The Savage Body, I'm Rob. I wanna to talk to you about some research that I found that suggests a way to gain mass normally in the gym, but also to gain up to 25% more strength and more power while you're doing it. A little background first. Most people that go to the gym are going through a hypertrophy workout program where the goal is to build mass. You're building strength, but you're mostly focused on building mass. And this is according to the exercise physiology science that we already know that's very, very well established. I'll do a video about that in eventually, but for now, the understanding that I want you to have is that typically when you're working out in, in a certain kind of phase, endurance, hypertrophy, strength, power, you're excluding some of the other phases. If someone's working endurance, typically that's gonna exclude power or strength. You don't typically train those things together. When someone's training for hypertrophy, typically they're moving more slowly and they're not generating a lot of power with their movements, so they're not training a lot of power with their movements. It doesn't require a ton of strength, so it doesn't build a ton of strength but it does cultivate mass, which is why a lot of people go to the gym, which is fine. Everybody wants to look good. You look good, you feel good. It's not a bad way to go. I do it myself. But the point I'm trying to make is that typically when someone is performing a hypertrophy workout, trying to gain mass, they're not focused on strength and power. Ah, but what if you could train all those things all at once, huh? But, 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 oh. Uh... Oliver et al. in 2013 published a study in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research entitled Greater Gains in Strength and Power with Intraset Rest Intervals in Hypertrophic Training. So essentially what that means is it says, if you're working out trying to gain mass, and you rest in the middle of your sets, you're gonna continue gaining mass more or less normally, but you're also gonna gain a bunch of power and strength too. So the study was relatively simple. They took 22 men aged 20 to 35 who had been working out at least once a week for the last year or so, weren't taking any supplements, and most of them were in the military. I think it was 86% of them were in the military. What they did is they broke them up into two groups, and then essentially what they did is they gave them the exact same workout programs with three main lifts and five auxiliary lifts or assistance lifts, and it was during those three main lifts that they had their intervention, right? So one group did four sets of 10 with two minutes rest in between. The other group did eight sets of five with one minute rest in between. And the goal was with three main lifts, the subject was supposed to move concentrically as explosively or as powerfully as possible. Okay, with the bench press, they're really trying to chuck that bar. Uh, and with the squats, they were trying to come up out of that well as fast as possible. After the three main lifts, they did the exact same workout program. So they did these workouts four days a week for 12 weeks. And I think you already know what the results of this study were, okay? The traditional resistance training did get stronger and they did also gain lean muscle mass. However, the intraset rest group gained about the same muscle mass, but they gained considerably more power in bench press, parallel squat, and vertical jump. Knowing that these rep schemes where you're doing four sets of 10 with two minutes rest in between, and A sets of five with one minute rest in between, that's the same amount of time. But one's gonna make you stronger and more powerful and also make you bigger just like this one. Intraset rest is clearly superior. And there have been multiple other studies looking at this exact same question that found similar reproducible results. And it seems relatively consistent that it's like 25% more power in that ballpark. I don't like this study because it was only 22 people and the people that they were studying were relatively homogenous. They were all young dudes that had been working out at least once a week before. And then they, they, they shuffled these guys onto a program that was four times a week, pretty intense, supervised. So the results that you're gonna get are gonna be skewed towards huge improvements. So taking this same sort of rep scheme approach and giving it to someone like me that's been lifting, you know, four times a week for the last God knows how long, my results are gonna be blunted. My body is gonna be already habituated to this sort of stuff. However, if the research does suggest that doing it like this, eight sets of five with a minute rest between is gonna give me 25% more power, I'm doing that. I've been doing this workout program for the past two months or so. And I have noticed improvements in my strength and in my uh, muscle mass, I guess we'll say, in my, <laughs> in my total mass. Now, me being more massive than I was two months ago, that could have a lot to do with Christmas and Thanksgiving and St. Nick and New Year's and all that partying and fun. Here's a good question. Why does this work? Well, the volume lifted remains the same. Eight sets of five is equal to four sets of 10, 80 repetitions, right? You're lifting at the same resistance level, about 75% to your max. But when you rest halfway through, it lets you jump into every set at near maximal power. You're just blasting. You're just blasting the whole time. Your body responds to that kind of training stimulus by cranking your nervous system up to 11. It just gets used to dumping neural impulses into your muscles 
and they, they just they just go, they just, they crank. If you wanna apply the intraset rest protocol, it's as easy as this. Pick your three main lifts. Your three main lifts should be the ones that are most complex. A deadlift is way more complex than a hamstring curl. We know it's more complex because it involves more joints. You don't have to do squats, you can do, you can do deadlifts instead. You don't have to do flat bench, you can do chest press machine. You can do whatever you want. It sets a five minute rest in between, moving explosively. Follow it up with four just basic standard issue exercises, nothing wild there, and then follow that up three sets to exhaustion and that's it like i said before you know i've been doing it for about two months and i feel great it's working for me the plural of anecdote is not data so that doesn't mean anything but then again there are a number of studies that are very 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 similar to this study by oliver that came to the same conclusions that intraset rest does work at making you more powerful and stronger during hypertrophy workout programs you can have your cake you can eat it too you can be the meanest monkey in the gym that's it. That's all I got. Enlighten the mind, elevate the spirit, and make savage the body.